Hello and welcome to Tricksumo YouTube channel. I am Rishi Tiwari and this is tutorial on how to make room temperature controller. So I am going to use Nordium CU ESP8266 and uh, DST11 temperature sensor. Uh, this is single channel relay module. Let me show circuit first. This is DST11 temperature sensor. Uh, its signal pin is connected to D8. Its VCC is connected to 3 volt of Nodium CU and GND is connected to GND of Nodium CU. Now this is single channel relay. Its VCC is connected to VV pin of Nodium CU. GND pin is connected to GND of Nodium CU and input pin of relay is connected to D3 of Nodium CU. And uh, here uh, this is common point and this is normally off point. You can connect fan or cooler using 230 volt AC supply uh, but now here I had connected a LED using 9 volt battery so this is our circuit I am powering Nodium CU using mobile charger this is DST11 temperature sensor and this is input of single channel relay I am connecting it to D3 pin okay now this is app uh, I had created using MIT App Inventor. Uh, link to this app file is given in description. You can find it. So right now this is in manual mode. Wait a minute. I sub supply battery. Okay. So imagine this is fan or cooler. This LED is fan or cooler. Now right now it is in automatic mode. Means if temperature is 30 degrees Celsius or above. Uh, fan will turn on I mean LED will turn on and if temperature decreases below 30 degrees Celsius uh, LED will turn off automatically and here is manual mode also so this is manual mode and if you want to turn off this is off and uh, in manual mode uh, it is manual mode is independent of temperature you can turn on and off at any temperature so as you can see we can turn on and turn off okay now uh, we can turn off manual mode using this manual off button now manual mode is off so automatic mode is turned off turned on automatically and uh, led or fan will turn on automatically because temperature is above 30 degrees celsius you can adjust it to 30 25 35 uh, according to your need this is circuit you can find link to its tutorial in description hope you find it helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe